The program Intellectual History comprises courses from different eras, from different decades and centuries. Um, it starts out with courses dealing with stuff from the late antiquity, passing by the Middle Ages, the early modern times, through the 20th century or even to the present. And the course program deals with naturally with ideas, with concepts, with words, with the importance of language, with questions of how thinking, uh, language, culture and power are intertwined. The more modern concept of global intellectual history is interested in how key concepts and key ideas are traveling through time and space, which means that concepts like democracy or freedom in India or in China might mean something entirely different than what they mean in Paris, Berlin or Washington. Um, the concept of intellectual history, as opposed to other ways of doing history, is not so much interested in events, and it is not supposing that one event happens at a certain date, but rather sees reality as a very complex and conflicting thing. For me, dealing with ideas and intellectual concepts is absolutely key for uh, understanding and for speaking about history. I don't think that you really can without doing it.